Hello guys, welcome back here today. And just as I said, I did get some new origami paper. And yes, it's double sided. For all of you, if you were wondering, because it's hard to see color of light. Um, this is what it is. It's origami paper. 1,000 1, sheets. And you can buy it on Amazon for $15. I got it from James and his YouTube channel is Origami James. So please go check that out. Like his video, subscribe to him hit his notification bell so you never miss one of his videos. But then also, don't forget to do that to mine. And so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make like a spiral cube. Not like a spiral cube, like a, I call it a, a spiral cube, but it's more like rectangular. So, okay, so first on this, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need Personally, if you use smaller, um, the recommended size is 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter. I mean, but it doesn't matter if you use this, and it doesn't matter if you use normal size, and it won't, it won't be fragile. And, but see, but the paper I have is a little bit smaller than, like, normal size if you take a rectangle into a square. But you need eight sheets of paper in total, so you can use... Like, I'm using four, four orange, and four red. So, okay. So let's get, let's get making. Okay, so first you're going to get your first piece of paper. And you're going to fold it like this. Uh, and you're going to fold it like you're folding a triangle. And you are... I'm gonna need to get a glue stick. I'm not making the glue stick part up because I don't know how to put it together, but that's really how it goes. I watched a video on it and it says glue stick or glue. Then fold it, and then right here in the center line, you're gonna fold that corner there, but don't wait to do it to the other side. Just don't do it quite yet, and try and center it when you do it. And then right here, once it's like this, you're gonna fold that up to the center line. So, It should look like that on the bottom. Now, do that to the other side. So you're gonna fold the triangle to the halfway point and leave it folded once you do that. Once you do that. Fold to the half line and then fold it up. Okay. There we go. Okay. So then, once you do that, it should look like this. So then, right here, you see this tip. You're gonna fold and bring that tip up to there and increase it. So right there, where the Y, where the bottom two pieces come together, you should fold it right there. So then, it'll look like this. Don't unfold it, but then flip it upside down. So it looks like this. So then right here, on the left left side, on your left side, there will be like a flap like this. We're going to pull that up, and then it will fold along the top line. So I will show you that again. So right here, right here, this is the left. Right here, what you're going to do is you're going to take this, and this line should align on the top, so you're just going to fold it like that. So then it should look like this. So then right here, you'll see a point. So then you're going to fold this up like this until this touches the point. And then once it touches the point, crease it. And then don't unfold it. Sorry, I thought someone would find me. Um, so then right here, you'll see right here when you hold it to yourself there's a point up here and then there's a point on the side you're gonna turn you should have just folded it so then there'll be a flap like in the middle and then there'll be a flap on top you want the flap on top turn it two times so then it's on the bottom so then right here you do the same thing this is the left and this is the top you're gonna go like this and fold it and fold it over so then it should look like so then it should look like 
that so now you can do that to all the other pieces. Okay, so I've made one more. <clears throat> I decided to <clears throat> just make one more. Sorry about that. Um, I decided to make one more to show you guys how to put the first box together, and then and then I'll make all the other ones. So first, you're gonna have both of the fronts facing towards you. So right now the backs are facing towards me because the fronts. So then you're gonna turn one, one, one like this, one, one side facing forward and one side facing the back. So then right here you'll see this little slit, and then right here you'll see this piece. You're gonna put those two together. So then once you put it together like that, it should look like this. It should look somewhat like this. So you should have one color on top, one color on the bottom. So now I'm going to show you how to make it so the box will stay together. Um, so right here, you should see, like right under here, under all the orange, under all of this orange, you'll see this red right here. And then you're just going to reach under there, pull that out, like that. And then there'll be a flap under the orange. Right there, there'll be a flap right there. You're gonna put that in there. Okay, so now that you've done that, you'll see that it is red, red with orange, and then orange with red. Here's where the glue comes in handy. Here's where the glue comes. So right here, you're gonna take your glue, right here. Try and get it even as you can. Okay, on the first flap right here, on this red, you're gonna just put some glue on that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the flap and fold it down. And then you're gonna take this flap, glue it, and fold it down. And then you're gonna flip it over, glue this flap, the last flap, the fourth flap, and then pull it down. Um, so then after you do that, uh, you're just gonna just kind of like put your hands there and twist it, and then if it looks like a full box, then you have done it correctly. Now to twist it back down, is you're just gonna twist it the opposite way that you twisted it up. And then, so finish making all of these pieces, and I'll show you. Okay, so then once you've made the first box, you're set it aside. Okay, now I'm gonna take this piece of paper and fold it in a triangle again. And if you already made all of the pieces, like I said to do earlier, then just fast forward this. So. See, oh, whoops. So then, again, I forgot to tell. Um, once you folded it like this, unfold it. And then right here, fold that piece up and a triangle and to the center line and then you're going to take this again and fold that up to the center line and then crease it and then you're not going to like flip it over and do it to the other side but when I say to like do it to the thing across from it flip it over fold the triangle halfway and then take this and fold that up so then it should look like this. Again, you're going to take this flap and fold it up to there. So it should be aligned in that corner. Right there. So then again, I'll slow down here. Right here on your left. This is my left, but obviously to you guys it might be the right on that. And then you're going to take this right here. So I have it facing up. And you're going to take that flap, fold it over to the top and crease. 
So this line right here, this is the left, should align on the top like that. Then again, remember right here, you'll see this point. And you're going to fold it up so that once this touches that point, it'll stop and then you crease. Then again, right here, left side, right here, well, like this again, right here, this will be in the middle. You want, you want the one that's just hanging loose by itself on the top, then you're going to turn it two times so then it's on the bottom. So now that it's like this right here, it will have the left side for me. And here's the top, I'm going to fold this over so then it's on the top. And then, again, do that to all the other pieces. Okay, now that you have all of your pieces, I'll show you again how to put them together. So you're going to take, I'm going to take one red and one orange. So again, you're going to have one facing, like one, the, one with the front facing towards you and one with the back. So as you see right here, there's a flap right here. Like, when I have it like this, if I pull this, this is the flap. Right here, there's like a slit. There's like a, another flap thing. So you're just going to put those two things together. Okay. So then, it should have like one red, one orange. So then right here again, you're going to go to the top layer of the red, pull it out. And then right here, there's an orange flap. Yeah. I'd like slip it under there. And then this is where the glue comes in again, guys. So then you're gonna take your glue and you're gonna glue like the try all four of the triangle things. And you're gonna glue the first one. Whoop. And then fold it. You're gonna, then you're gonna, guys, can you, sir, I yelled, guys, because I thought the video was paused. I had to tell my parents to be quiet because I'm making a video. I had to tell them again. Okay, so right here, you're gonna take the first box. You're gonna put glue all over the top of it. Okay, then. We're going to put glue all over the bottom of the second one. Then, guess what you're going to do? Yep. You're going to try and get them in the square. And then you're going to squish them together. And just let it dry for a couple seconds. Kind of like squish it like this. And you're going to have to do that. And you're going to have to put all of the boxes together. And... So then once you do that, this is what it'll look like so far. Do you? And then, uh, do you? So, so far, it'll be two boxes. And again, remember, you just twist the opposite way. Do you? Do you? So once you put it together, it should be four boxes on. And you can always, you can always make, add more paper to make more boxes. But, so, once you make all the boxes, or you will um, so once you have made the other two boxes, what you're going to do, <clears throat> again, put glue on the top of the first box, and put glue on the bottom of the other box, and try and get them as square as you can, smush it, and like squish them, then guess what you're going to do again, put glue on the top of the two boxes that have already been glued together and then put glue on the bottom of the other two boxes. Then you got it right. Sandwich it together. Put the glue cap on. Now ready? Squish it kind of. And right here we go. Top box. One, two, three. Pretty cool, huh? So then twist it, you just twist it the other way. And again, this is the paper I have. Origami, 1,000 sheets. And it is... 
so if you guys use it and it, I think I think it's all recycled paper actually but if you guys need more paper do that again so right here go and twist the other one and go so and then look I'll show you the last thing in the clip. I hope you guys like it and watch. If you just push, you, 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 you. I didn't even do anything. I just pushed. But don't push too hard. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button so you never miss one of my videos. And leave in the comments if you were able to make this and if you thought it was cool. And. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.